visiting Warapuka. And it is because of the idea of having tourism developed, ecotourism developed in this area. And uh, we promised to investigate. Today we have the opportunity with the Guyana Tourism Authority, with one Tony Thorne of Wilderness Explorers, and Ron Alicock, who is a, a border within the communities in the north and south Rupununi, and also within the Botanical Garden and uh, up in the Mahaika Creek area. And for a number of years, we have seen that although we do not have birds as many as, let us say, Brazil or Peru and those places, there are the hot birds that are easily seen in Guyana. So we were told that there was the possibility of a harpy setting here in Warapoka. We came here to investigate with this team today, uh, supported by uh, the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, because we have some young people who are doing uh, in the in the Hayes program. We have these young people who are venturing into ecotourism, and birding is one of those areas, uh, fishing, sport fishing, uh, culture, culture tourism. So we went to investigate and we were very pleased. Within half an hour from the, the village itself to the location, we were able to witness the presence of this bird, which is a big thing on the market for bird lovers, in the UK and America and elsewhere in the country and in the world. So this is a great potential where every single person could benefit of having an income to their community because there would be need for transport, there would be need for food, accommodation, guides, uh, storytelling, like the, the cultural upliftment, this would help to revive the language. It will help uh, showcase the, the arts and crafts of these people and to help to keep the language alive. And this is the type of uh, support we would like to give to those communities who are willing to venture out into this tourism approach, the eco-tourism approach, because it is about exploiting the natural resources without too much harm and earning from it, having economic uh, sustainability from what is happening here. But of course, we need partners like, like the ones that are here to take, the, take this forward. And of course, the Ministry and the, uh, of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, the Ministry of Tourism, uh, would be uh, giving that support. Um, we also have even bigger than this because you're coming into the Morocco sub-district. So we could access this area from Georgetown easily by land and by boat going way on to Mabaruma and then probably fly out from Mabaruma and get back to Georgetown. Or you come to Georgetown, uh, sorry, come to Mabaruma and you come all the way up here. This is an ideal spot for a central location and you spend some time here to do uh, board watching, uh, sport fishing and then you go up uh, 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 like anaconda spotting because there are lakes here and more creeks that are accessible and tourists could be using this as their area of, of spotting. You could also leave from here to 
also go to Shell Beach. There's a, it's a, it's a hot spot there. We could go to Moruka itself. And you have another experience there. Because these are islands that you could be between and there are different, um, different activities that could be created. So it is going to help, I think, in the economic upliftment here. Um, also, what is happening here is the people are very enthusiastic about getting into the business and we are prepared to give them that support. I'm very happy to see so many young people in a room. Uh, and I think the future of Marika, Maruka and, and the sub-district lies with you guys. Um, I know that what, what you're doing is a very, very good initiative of the government uh, to bring young people together, to train them, build capacity in a number of areas. And I know one of the critical areas um, is also tourism, right? Am I right? Good. And so you, all of you have been exposed a little bit to tourism. So what we do at the, the Guyana Tourism Authority, we are, we are responsible for marketing and promoting Guyana as a tourism destination. They have to develop the tourism product, working in collaboration, like with the, the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, the entire private sector, so that we can help to, like Minister was saying, package, develop the tourism product. Um, and to market that and sell it abroad so that not only visitors, like when you have Maruka Expo, that visitors can come from elsewhere in Guyana, but we want to work with you to make sure, like for instance the Expo again, that it is of a higher quality so that others from elsewhere in the world can also want to come to your community. And if you look at Maruka Expo, um, whenever you have the Expo, all the hotels here are filled, the street is busy, this ground is packed, right? And it's lots of people coming out um, and spending money in your community. Matter of fact, when we came up here for the expo this last time, we did a survey. And the results, we'll send it to the expo organizing committee too, to understand and, and to get the feedback of the persons who are here. Um, we also know that, that Maruka has a, a number of important um, attractions. And it's for you to sit and, and, and document that. Um, Tony will talk to you later on because part of what he's doing and part of our mission now is to help to create a, a stronger tourism product uh, from Maruka to Warapoka and connecting Shell Beach. And so it's part of what we call tourism circuit de uh, development, developing clusters uh, so that visitors can come and spend three to five to seven days in this area. And when visitors come, they spend money in your community. So they have to get meals, they have to stay at some place, um, they will shop, they will do lots of things. And so the benefits come to you. Um, part of what we also want to do is to work with you to train you as tour guides, train you in tourism and hospitality, train you in, in housekeeping, how to even prepare meals, serve. Um, so as young people, you are, you are the right uh, target audience. Um, so we need to work with you to find out what else you have in this community from your wildlife. Um, at Warapoka we found that there is a, a harpy eagle, um, which is a, a major asset and an attraction that will definitely bring visitors to this area. And we also want to make sure that when they come they can stay here um, in Maruka. So it's important. Um, events you need to plan and organize uh, more events too. Because events serve to pull people to your community. And at the Ghana Tourism Authority, we, we can work with you to improve the events. Um, we can also work with you to help to promote the events, whether it's in the newspaper or on Facebook or on the internet. Um, so again, get, getting up the various attractions, uh, being trained so that you can, you can deliver excellent service so that people can want to, to come back to this um, area, to Maruka. So with those few words, um, I'd like to tell you that we want to continue to work with you and even to establish a tourism group here um, so that we can more directly work with you, create an action plan, look at where the resources need to come from or what resources we need and to get, to get started.
from our observation just now, um, I'm happy to say from my experience that it is a juvenile or immature harpy eagle that we saw. And what you have there is something very unique and very special to your community, particularly for this business that we are talking about that is called ecotourism. Um, the last time I was here, we, we spoke a bit about um, how we could develop it. And this, I'm surprised that for this particular bird, how people were farming right around in the area and they didn't really move. Um, but I think as a community and to keep this bird around, there's, there's two things. One, it's, it's a, around here is a good feeding ground. That means there's a lot of iguanas, there's a lot of monkeys, there's a lot of slot, so people call it slot, um, a guti, and little deer, some small deers that it feed on. So that means that this area is very rich with wildlife so that the harpy eagle could depend on. So no matter what, you, if you disturb it a little bit, it will still remain there. However, it's very sensitive and it's very important that you keep that area as is. And I would advise you not to cut any farm around it or else you will chase the bird away and they will move. So, for example, in Sarama, there is also a nest. And we have decided that we're not going to we're not going to log, cut any trees or any chainsaws or so in the area. I think it's about 500 meters from the tree out. Um, what is called it? Radius. So that area you want to protect. No hunting, no logging, no cutting of trees, and no farming. You can, you can do around the area, but not because you will disturb the, the eagle. All right? That's my precious advice to you um, when we look into ecotourism and eco travel. People want to see wildlife. I said the last time they want to see frogs, snakes, parrots, macaws, lizards, and of course they want to meet you, the people who live here, and find out how you survive in such a good area in the forest. Some people have never seen you how fire light before. So when they see it for the first time, it's very exciting. So I, I brought along with me the last time I came, I didn't bring anything to show you because I was talking so much about snake and the Bushmasters. And so these are some, what we call field guides. This is the um, reptiles and amphibian of the Amazon. But we have all these snakes and frogs and lizards that I talked to you about in, this, in pictures. Turtle and worms and lizards and all the frogs and all the snakes, the venomous ones, the non-venomous ones. This is particularly for reptiles, amphibian and reptiles. This one here is about the mammals, jaguars, antita, bats, um, monkeys, rat, and other mammals that we use as guides. So when, I, when I'm back here, I'm going to bring these to share with the guides who will be on the training, already preparing a training program. And what I want to do is to share some basic information to most of you or all of you here about um, how to become a, a guide and how you can learn from right here. This is the university. This is the birds now. This is tell you all about the birds of northern South America. So all the birds in Guyana, most of the birds, 99%, they're in this book here. So we go through them, we study them, and then you mark them off, and then you learn the names. <laughs> I come for the first time here, and maybe I'm going to bring tourists here. So why I should bring? Someone want to tell me why we should bring tourists here? Attraction, the best attraction. What, what, what sort of attractions do you have? For example, they are they are peaceful. They are peaceful. They are peaceful. Anyone else? Other things? In Morocco. Watch out. What about you all, the people of the community? It's a monument over there. So people from outside would be interested to see how you live here, wouldn't they? 
So when they come, you have to be friendly. Yeah? Smiling? I think that's an excellent idea. Come up towards the development of our poker people. This is what we are waiting for all the time to encourage and employ youths in the area. This is very interesting for the community development. The project, I, I think it's a very good project because um, in this community it's very difficult to get like incomes and pertaining to the community, it will be, be very beneficial. And there are many ways we th I think it can help our community because we need income to so develop our communities. I feel about the upcoming project in tourism industry, which is something very good. It will be helpful to young people. It will help us to advance in our development in the community. We have been recognized now that we have an Harpy Eagle and true cause of that we've been recognized. And I am very proud that this community or the people being recognized through cause of the the um, the eagle, the nesting eagle. Not that alone. We have the cave, the rock cave, and the, the shell mound. We have the white sun, and I think it's that causing the attraction of the community to the tourism, to the tourists that that are hard about our poker. So I am proud about it, and I know that it will be able to develop my community in the future to come.